Welcome to another edition of Rescue Me. I'm Jill Devine. This week, I'm not featuring an adoptable dog, but you can check out all of the adoptable dogs right now at y98.com slash pet. I want to feature one of the great volunteers at Gateway Pet Guardians because these dogs would not be where they are if it wasn't for the great volunteers. You're going to learn more about what they do and a little bit about fostering right here. Hi, my name is Nancy Radke. I've been with Gateway Pet Guardians for a little over a year now. And I mostly foster puppies for them, but I foster some bigger dogs too. Okay, Nancy, so why are you the puppy foster extraordinaire? Um, I guess probably because I realize that fostering a puppy is not, or a litter of puppies, is not just bringing those puppies into your home and giving them food and keeping them clean and cleaning up after them. There's a lot that goes into a puppy foster. Um, you have to socialize them. You have to get them used to being picked up and handled so that they can be comfortable with that the rest of their lives. You have to stop any bad behaviors in their tracks, like nipping, biting, <laughs> things like that, um, that people don't think about. Get them there's such a need out there for people to foster and volunteer for so many organizations. There's so many stray dogs on the street. Um, the thought of a dog in the cold, puppies in the cold, it just, it just breaks your heart. And you want to bring them in and do something to help ease that problem and ease the burden. The first puppy that got adopted out after I started fostering broke my heart. <laughs> I was just like, no, no, I want to keep this one. I want to keep this one so bad. But then when you get on the other side of it, I guess there's something in us that makes us think that no one can love this dog as much as me. And it's not true. They can. And that's what you find out, that that person on the other side that adopts this dog or this puppy, it, it's their whole world. And they send you emails. They send you texts. You know, they call you and say, oh my gosh, I love this dog so much. I don't know what I would do without this dog. Um, a situation comes to mind where a girl lost her mother to cancer and she said, Nancy, if I hadn't had the dog that I adopted from you, I don't know what I would have done. He was my rock. You know, and she's like, oh my God, he was my whole world. He made everything better. And she was married and had a husband who was plenty of support for her as well. But just knowing that he was there providing that unconditional love to her meant the world. And those are the kinds of things that make you keep fostering and keep getting these babies ready to go into their new homes and be loved by someone else. It's just a wonderful process to go through.